Ladies, gentlemen, and tarnished of all ages, your weapon is your life. If you want to do well in this game, it behooves you to keep your weapon upgraded as much as physically possible. Sometimes you just want to have three weapons all pristinely upgraded together. We do all play differently, but one thing that we all need is smithing stones. Today I'll be showing you exactly how to go about getting yourself smithing stones 3, 4, and 5 to take your weapon to that next level. These are the stones that will take your weapon all the way up to plus 15. As soon as you reach the Liernia region, after finishing up with Stormvale Castle, you can technically do this activity. It will just require a fair amount of travel and or a boss fight victory, depending on your preferred method. If you have already reached the Altus Plateau region, this will be much simpler. For those who haven't though, there are two main methods to reach this region. The first involves no fighting at all, but a fair bit more traveling. There is a giant elevator that we can use in the northeast of the region. However, to make it operational, we need both halves of a key. One half of this key is in the fortress in the east of Limbrave, and the other piece is within the fortress east in the Kaled region. With these, you can ride the elevator up, follow the path forward until you reach a giant bridge, cross the bridge once again running like a little baby past what is clearly two of the tree sentinel boss from the beginning of the game, try not to cry thinking about that experience, and then grab the sight of grace on the other side. If instead you want less exploration and more combat, there is an alternate way to the region. Head to the Ravine Veiled Village in the north northeast side of Liernia, down on the level of the lakes. Follow the path upwards until you reach a boss fog wall with a boss who is neither particularly hard nor a pushover per se. After defeating him, you will unlock a new elevator. Take this up to find a side entrance to the Altus Plateau. From here, head northeast, completely ignoring the quote-unquote ancient dragon that I won't show on screen for anyone who would rather see it in game first. You can run right past this thing on your horse, and then once on the other side of the hill, continue east until you reach the giant bridge once again. This time, you also cross it to the end at the same site of grace mentioned before. From the outer wall phantom tree site of grace, which is where we've been talking about, head directly east until you find this passage of land downwards. Follow it and then in the back corner will be a cave entrance leading to a site of grace. In this closed off room you will hear sounds of mining, so obviously illusionary wall time. The tunnel behind here is pretty brittly short. Run to the next room over, open the chest, bam, smithing stone bearing belt 2. This item can be used to unlock permanent and repeated purchase of smithing stone 3 and 4 from the twin maiden husks in the round table hold. As for smithing stone 5s, the permanent item for this isn't unlocked until you reach a further region in the game. However, you can mine them quite easily from the walls of the ravine veiled village that was mentioned before, as well as the gale tunnel on the border of Kaled, the Celia crystal tunnel also in Kaled, as well as the Altus tunnel located just north of the big old bridge from before in Altus Plateau. From this, you may not be able to get enough to fuel a full arsenal of weapons, but you'll get enough to get one weapon up to full for sure. If you want to farm these somewhat reliably though, in the Altus Plateau, head north until you hit the Bridge of Iniquity site of Grace, from there follow the cliff line on the left side until you see an incredibly long ladder upwards. Follow it up, and then find the first Mount Gelmir campsite on your left. From there, go right and slowly backstab and poise break these relatively weak zombie knights, there's about 10 of them in the near area, then go back to the site of Grace and and repeat. Each of these enemies has a chance to drop their armor pieces as well as any smithing stone from 1 to 5, including the 5s. This process is much slower than going to the caves that I mentioned earlier, however it is easy and it is consistently repeatable for as long as you wish to repeat it before pushing into the next parts of the game. Elden Ring is a game about choosing how you want to progress, when you want to progress, where you want to progress. If you want more smithing stone 5s at this point in the game, this is how you farm them endlessly. Between that and the bearing bell, you can get yourself as many spithing stone 3, 4, and 5s as you need to get the ball rolling towards that next stage of your weapon and the next stage of the game. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye